The Mauro Icardi of old is back. No, we're not talking about his private life, although things in that department are looking up as well. In fact, we're talking about the striker's lethal scoring habits. His current form has been so impressive that he even boasts one of the best goal-scoring rates in Europe this year. The Argentine has relaunched his career at Galatasaray, and big teams are now looking to sign him for next season. So join us as we ask ourselves, what the heaven happened to Mauro Icardi? Here comes trouble. Mauro Icardi's career has always been hampered by his controversial personality. Problems on and off the field have conspired against an otherwise promising trajectory. The Argentine was Inter's captain and the club's image across Europe. The two-time league top scorer seemed to have a bright future with the Italians, but his destructive old habits suddenly returned. Icardi publicly rode with the Tifosi, the side's ultras, ultimately signaling his departure. The 26-year-old was forced to leave the club he captained, instead opting for an understudy role at PSG as the alternative to the dynamic duo of Edinson Cavani and Kylian Mbappe. The guy seemed intent on stagnating his own career. Regardless, he added domestic trophies at PSG, but eventually failed to establish himself in the starting 11. After experiencing little game time under Mauricio Pochettino, new manager Christophe Galtier had even worse news for Riccardi. He wasn't even included in his plans for the season. At the same time, rumors of a split up with his wife and agent, Wanda Nara, were rife. The couple eventually broke up, with Nara subsequently returning to Argentina to resume her career as a TV presenter. Meanwhile, the striker found himself alone in Paris, without a place in the side. It seemed the striker's off-field controversies had caught up with him, and there was even speculation that he was considering retirement. Eventually, Icardi agreed a loan deal to an unexpected side for a player of his caliber. Turkish giants, Galatasaray, offered him a lifeline. It looked like another step backwards for a man whose best days seemed to be over. He's still got it. Icardi made a slow start to life in Turkey, playing only six league games in 2022. But this year, the Argentine has recovered his fine form. The striker quickly became Galatasaray's top scorer, leading the side to first place in the Super League. In addition, he endeared himself to the club's fans by scoring a brace against Besiktas and added another against Fenerbahce, Galatasaray's two biggest rivals. The former interstar seemed to have recovered his confidence, and he was even putting his off-field issues behind him. Icardi featured on his wife's TV show, before for later confirming their reconciliation. And having his love life in order prompted him to experience one of the most prolific months in his career as a footballer, as he scored six goals in his last five games, and he's netted his first hat-trick in two years. At the time of recording, Icardi has scored 15 goals in 21 games. So how did Galatasaray get the best out of such a controversial player? Among the reasons, it's safe to say that the Turkish side have made Icardi feel comfortable, free, and more importantly, important. They've given him the confidence he'd lost while sitting on the bench at PSG. Also, they were patient in the initial months as Mauro fought to get back in shape. The fans played an important role as well. This is how they welcomed him upon his arrival in Turkey. And last but not least, Galatasaray understood that he's an emotional character and granted him the freedom to travel to Argentina and be with his family. All of the above influenced his performances, both individually and collectively. His team now hold a three-point lead at the top of the Turkish Super League, with six matches remaining. Galatasaray, Turkey's most decorated team with 22 league trophies, haven't won the title in four years. So is Icardi on the cusp of leading his club back to where it belongs? Nevertheless, for him, the season has already been a total success. And if he keeps playing like he is, his renaissance will likely continue elsewhere. New Horizons Icardi's loan deal at Galatasaray is set to expire in June. And even though he's proved that he's still a very good player, he looks surplus to requirements at PSG. So, where will he play his football next season? PSG will no doubt try to sell him and recover at least some of the 50 million euros they paid for him back in 2020. There's no doubt that Icardi's value has gone up thanks to his fantastic performances in Turkey. And he's already being linked with some big teams. Sections of the Italian press have claimed that Jose Mourinho is interested in bringing him to Roma. Let's not forget that the special one has transformed the fortunes of former Juventus star Paolo Dybala, so this could be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for Icardi. There have also been rumors in South America about him receiving an offer from Argentine side Boca Juniors. But just like Lionel Messi, Icardi is a Newell's Old Boys fan. Regardless, joining Boca Juniors would reunite him with his wife and daughters, which could play a key role in his decision-making. Wherever he ends up playing, it's clear something has changed in Icardi's mindset. At 30 years old, the Argentine looks determined to prove everyone that he's still a world-class striker. And judging by his recent 
recent performances, we wouldn't dare contradict him. Mauro Icardi is back, and he's proving once again to be one of the most lethal strikers in Europe. Should PSG give him another chance, or should he move overseas next season? Let us know in the comments below! As we've already said, Mourinho is adept at leasing new life into struggling players. And the best example is Paulo Dybala, who has relaunched his career under the tutelage of the Portuguese tactician. And he could even join Real Madrid next season. Check out Oh My Goals video to find out what the heaven happened to the Argentine. Thanks for watching.